Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to um, my channel, um, Stock Markers with Bruce. Uh, I'm Uncle Bruce. Uh, it's Thursday, July the 11th, 2024. And today was an interesting day because the Magnificent Seven took a hit today. And we've kind of been wondering, when will these stocks um, back off a little bit? What's going to create it? how far down would they go and uh do you just get back in uh, what do you do and if you're an option writer which is what most of my viewers are uh, you're sitting here going like this going okay this is great uh markets are backing off and stocks are going to re recalibrate uh options can be written and premiums can be hauled in thank you very much uh let's let's review the big picture today let me pop this up for you to show you kind of what happened here here is the um the uh, the index today. I believe I have this here somewhere. Uh, let me double check that for you. Uh, maybe I don't. I thought I had copied this. Hang on a second. I thought I've got this right here. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, it's right here. Here it is. Don't worry about it. There's the Dow. Uh, down uh, 32 points today. Um, below that, the S&P 500 down 49 points today. And you look at the NASDAQ down 364 points, 1.95%, a nice healthy pullback today. <clears throat> the VIX, which measure, measures the volatility index, uh, it rose only 7 cents, very, very calm. Gold went up today 40 bucks, and oil went up 83 cents a share. Why would gold go up today? What, what's the deal with gold? Um, if interest rates are perceived to be going lower, that means the competition for money from investors who buy bonds or who, in, who buy gold shifts more to gold. If, if treasury yields drop and savings accounts drop and investment certificates aren't as good, you can't get as much for your money from a bank or from other institutions, you might go with gold because, hey, you know, gold goes up 10% in one year. That's better than a 4% bond that used to pay 5% or a three and a half percent bond that used to pay five or five and a half percent today gold went up speculators are speculating let's take a look at some of the uh, the big boys uh, today let me pop this up for you and i'll just kind of move off to the side here i uh, hope you can read this i'm going to blow this up in a second look at uh the, the list here these are the magnificent seven apple down 540 a share uh tesla down 2223 Microsoft down 1155, Alphabet, that's Google, down 536, Amazon down 474, and NVIDIA down 751, and Meta Platforms, which is Facebook, down 2199, okay? Let's take a look at uh, three of these stocks right here. Here's Apple, Tesla, and Microsoft. And if you look across this uh, line of data here, you'll note that Apple closed to 227.57, down 541, 2.3% drop, volume 64 million, average volume 68 million. The high and low for the last uh, 52 weeks, uh, there it is, 164 and 233. So from the high of the year, we're now at 227. That's about $6 off. Not that much off the high. Tesla, uh, 241.03, down 22.23, 8.5%. We've been wondering uh, 11 straight days of gains. When will the streak end and how bad will it be? Uh, look at this. We just wiped off an entire week of performance. Volume, 217 million. Normal volume, 94 million. There's a sign. Uh, there's some heavy trading going on, a lot of speculating. For the 52-week range, though, uh, 138.80 for the low and 299 for the high. Right now, 241, still towards the high. On Microsoft, 454.70 last trade, down 1155, 2.48%. Volume, 22 million or 22.8 million versus 18 million. Yeah, it's more than usual, but not a lot more than usual. Uh, the low of the year, 309.45. The high, 468.35. So you can see we're about... Not quite $14 off the high of the year. Now, the other Magnificent Seven are right here. Um, Google, as I said, uh, 187, you can see right there, down 536, 2.79%. 16.3 million volume versus 18.6, a regular volume. And the low for the year, 118.68, the high 193. We're only about $6 off the high of the year. Amazon, uh, 195.05 last trade today, down 474, down 2.38%, 43 million volume versus 41.6, nothing unusual there. The low of the year, uh, last 52 weeks, 118.35, high 201, 
were only six bucks off the high of the year. NVIDIA, this one everybody follows. 127.40, down 750 today, down 5.57%. 369 million volume, which is less than normal. Interesting. Uh, this is not a big time sell off on a volume perspective. 39.23 for the low of the year, 140 for the high. Remember, this stock just did split 10 for 1 last month. So that $39 price really is $390, and the $140 price is $1,400 a share. But with the 10 for 1 split, we're now at $127, which is about $13 and change behind the high of the stock, which is $140.76, its all-time high. Last on the list, Meta Platforms, the old Facebook, $512.70 last trade, down $21.99, 4.1% drop. 16 million traded versus 14 and a half million. Not that much going on there. Nothing to worry about. Uh, low of the year, uh, 274. High of the year, 542. And we're $30 off the high. There's a general idea of what, what's been going on with these, uh, with these particular uh, stocks. Got a couple of charts for you here that I came up with. Let me uh, see if I can pop them up for you. Uh, here's one right here. You're looking at uh, Tesla here. 238.25. This is a one-day chart. This is just today, and you can see how it uh, backed off. In, in that 238.25 price, by the way, that's tonight's after-hours trading. If you take a look, uh, uh, if, you, if I pop myself up down here, just above my finger right there, see that where it says 241.03? That was tonight's lo close, lost 22.23 on the day. So in the after-hours, it's still falling another couple of dollars. Another chart for you to look at here. Just to kind of go over today's activity is this one here. Looks like this is Meta, a one-day chart. And uh, right off the bat today, uh, that stock uh, uh, was uh, right off the get-go here in that 530-something range. And immediately from 535 right down uh, by 1030 in the morning, it was already 520. Then it dropped into the 515 level, then to the 510 level. And in the after hours, we're down another 49 cents on the session. And one more chart right here. We'll see if we can get this to pop up here. Here it comes. This is NVIDIA, five-day chart for NVIDIA. So look at that. The stock uh, uh, last week, Friday, and then Monday, and Tuesday, and Wednesday, and now today. It climbed, it climbed, it climbed, and then whack, down it came. And we're kind of back to where we were last Friday with a, with a drop of 750, which is just above my forehead here. Uh, tonight, 70 cents lower uh, a few minutes ago in the after hours, okay? Because I don't see heavy volumes, I don't see double normal volumes or triple normal volumes, we did not have a full-blown get-me-out-of-dodge-sell-off. We did not have a panic sell-off. We did not have a, uh, I'm getting blown out of my, my uh, account sell-off, none of that stuff. This was orderly, calm, kind of quiet. Uh, that's a good sign for those of you who think the market might be going higher. However, it doesn't mean that just because we didn't have massive panic volume today that we can't go lower yet because a lot of folks weren't paying attention today in what's going on. Why is that? It's July. People are on holidays. It's true. Your market, your, your stock market is on one of these now, so you know, there should be no excuse. But a lot of people just kind of casually watch their markets. Um, if we get another down day tomorrow, um, maybe a little heavier volume, a little more urgency, well, then there'll be a little more of an exit for the doors for some of the flippers out there, day traders who will get caught. But for those of you out there who are long-term players, and especially those of you who watch me all the time, and you are an option writer, this is perfect. This is absolutely what you want. You want this kind of a market to do what it is doing. I don't mind seeing Tesla drop 20 something bucks a share at all because 11 straight days is ridiculous. 11 up days in a row. It's stupid. Uh, it wasn't like every day it went up 10 bucks a share, by the way. There were days we only went up a buck or two. Very little moves. However, today was a uh, Will Smith dope slap day. Whack. Hello. Welcome. We're back. We have, we have another 10 or $20 of downside potential on Tesla. Well, what do you do if you're a, uh, an option writer? How do you take advantage of something like this? Well, with Tesla, let's take a look at it here. 241, the second line here. 241, if it goes down to 220 bucks a share in that neighborhood, 
Perfect. Now you can really take a look at uh, put credit spreads where you sell one put for, say, uh, $200 and you buy a put for $190, uh, maybe for two weeks out. You'll get a credit because the put you're selling is worth more money than the put you're buying as your insurance against it. It's a credit spread, credit to you. Uh, it'll run you $1,000 to do the trade. You bring in dollar, dollar fifty, hundred, hundred fifty bucks against that. Um, in credit, um, stock sits at 210, 220, 230 for the next couple of weeks as it sort of consolidates itself. These contracts die worthless. You keep all the, you all the money. You want to learn how to do this. You want to go to my website, stockmarketswithbruce.ca, head over there and um, check out my, my lessons. This is what my website looks like. There it is right there, stockmarketswithbruce. .ca. Once you get here, um, just uh, look at the uh, tab that says classes and then scroll down. Just scroll down. Here's the uh, first two lessons. You take these two lessons right here. This is going to help you a lot. If you've always been curious about how options work, what are stock options, uh, uh, why do people uh, uh, fear them so much, who definitely who those, those who don't know anything about options, this, these are the two classes right here. Number one, number two. I can tell you that um, a ton of my viewers who've taken class one and class two, uh, they start trading options. They start writing options after lesson number two. Now, for you newbies out there, you know, this, this world of digital communication, this device here, my God, has it changed the world? You can open up practice accounts with these brokerage firms, these online brokerage firms. If you're talking to, uh, you're dealing with Fidelity or you're dealing with... Uh, you're dealing with uh, Tasty Trade or uh, Webull, all these different outfits in the U.S. and, and IBKR, international brokers uh, elsewhere. You'll find that uh, many of these sites have practice accounts where you can you can trade options with live quotes, actual live market trading, without using any money, just pretend money. So you want to learn how to write uh, some options or some credit spreads on uh, on Nvidia or Tesla? Or you want to do some uh, you want to do some uh, regular option writing on, uh, say, poor man covered call writing. You want to buy a deep in the money call on uh, Microsoft and then write options against it. Check out the classes. Learn how this is done. There are 17 of them. Start practicing trading in these practice accounts. And then when you feel comfortable, use your own dollars. Uh, for some of you out there who own GameStop shares and uh, AI, you love AI stock, you, you follow a bunch of other outfits, you can do all kinds of option trading whether you own stock or not. But uh, the markets today are not a screaming signal that the world is coming to an end. Uh, we did have the news come out this morning from the uh, U.S. government talking about a moderating inflation rate, which is good, possibly good for lower interest rates sooner rather than later. Good. The bad news was we came up with a strong labor report, strong job um, creation report. That, that's the bad news. <clears throat> it's good news and bad news. It's good news for people who are looking for work, folks who are working and hoping not to get laid off from work. If uh, jobs are being created and the unemployment rate is, is holding at the 4.1% 4, 4 level, that's good for workers. It's bad for interest rate hopers, though, or people who are hoping for rates to go lower. A strong economy is not what you want. You want a bad economy. And so it all depends what side you're on. If you're an option writer, I've got good news. It doesn't matter. You don't have to care about any of that. You're looking for trading opportunities through option writing to take pounds and pounds of flesh off that table to feed yourself. And I can tell you the options market is drowning in trillions of dollars. Gamblers everywhere trying to outsmart the market. And there are opportunities out there for people like you to take advantage of it. That's just a quick recap of my thoughts on the day. Join me every Monday to Friday when the markets are open. If you're one of these Gold Bagel members of my channel, if you were paying 25 bucks a month to be one of these guys, you get to join me at 8 o'clock in the morning for the uh, Gold Bagel Trade Alert Show, half an hour long. And then at 8.30, I open up my channel to my regular daily show, two hours long, live, one hour pre-market, one hour during the market, where we follow the markets. We talk about all kinds of trading opportunities, and we go over all the option uh, possibilities that you can go with. And you get to hang out with a bunch of option writers who are talking to me during the live show. If you're a Gold Bagel member, you also get to join us Wednesday night for Primetime Live with Uncle Bruce, 7 o'clock Eastern. 
And also, if you're a Gold Bagel member, you are eligible to join our Discord chat group. So it pays to be a Gold Bagel member of this channel. $25 a month, this is a joke to get that kind of money out of the options market. Um, I don't think you can't, uh, you can't not make more than $25 on an option trade unless you really are really blowing it, I suppose. Uh, you write one option on um, GameStop. Uh, you own 100 shares, you write an option for 350 for three or four months out. Uh, that's 350 bucks in your pocket. That's the whole year paid for right there. That's the whole year paid for. Uh, whatever else you make after that is yours to keep. Anyway, check out the classes. They're on sale right now until the end of January, at the end of June, uh, five for the price of four. If you want to take advantage of that, uh, join me live for all the details. We'd love to see you. Uh, have a great night. In the meantime, we'll see you tomorrow morning, July the 12th, option expiry day tomorrow. And we'll see what kind of volatility we see these markets are uh, made of. Okay, everybody, thank you for joining me tonight. Have a great one. Bye for now.